very good morning to you all my dear students hope you all are doing well and staying home and staying safe let us start with the very first session of class plus 2 this is not something new for you this is what we have already done in plus 1 and the topic is note making but since many of you don't know how to make notes properly we are going to do it again and it is an important topic for your plus 2 board exams also so i'm going to start with our topic the topic is note making the very first thing that we need to keep in mind while making notes is that they should be short they should identify the main point the third point is they should be written only in phrases and not in sentences and be free and be liberal in the use of abbreviations and symbols but we are not to use articles prepositions and conjunctions the information that is there in the notes is to be divided and subdivided into sections and subsections you need to identify the main points in the different paragraphs of your passage and you need to club them under sections and subsections the notes that you make they should make sense when they are read again and title that you will give to your notes is mandatory because it carries marks so while you are writing the summary which is the next part of making notes we need to just go through the notes that we have already made and we are not to read the passage again i hope this thing is clear to you for more clarity i'm going to read out the passage that was there in your exams so the passage says color therapy it is about color therapy so the title that we can have is color therapy only or any other suitable title that you find the best so the color therapy is a complementary therapy for which there is evidence dating back thousands of years to the ancient cultures of egypt china and india so while you're reading you underline the main points and the main points would be history of color therapy it's evidence that is dating back to 2000s of years then it says if we define it in simple terms color is a light of varying wavelengths thus each color has its own particular wavelength and energy in the first paragraph if you have seen it is about color therapy which it says is a complementary therapy and we'll underline complementary therapy and we'll also underline its history the evidence that dates back to thousands of years okay and then you will underline other important points like it's a light of varying wavelengths and then each color has its own particular wavelength and energy this is the first paragraph of the passage let's move on to the second paragraph it says colors contribute energy so there is a relation between colors and energy so you can give this as a sub heading the energy may be motivational and encouraging another important point each of the seven colors of the spectrum are associated with energy the energy relating to each of the seven spectrum colors of red orange yellow green blue indigo violet resonates with the energy of each of the seven main chakras or energy centers of the body color therapy can help to rebalance and stimulate these energies by applying the appropriate color to the body now if you look at this paragraph this paragraph talked about the relationship between colors and energy so we'll underline the important points like so if we look at the second paragraph it talks about colors and energy this could be your subheading and first sub sub point in this could be colors contribute energy second energy which is motivational and encouraging third seven colors which are associated with energy so we can have three sub points under the sub headings this is the second paragraph then we move on to the third paragraph which talks about the different colors and its relation to the different chakras 
Red relates to the base chakra, orange the sacral chakra, yellow the solar plexus chakra, green the heart chakra, blue the throat chakra, indigo the brow chakra, sometimes referred to as the third eye and violet relates to the crown chakra. So this is a subheading number three, relation of colors with chakras. Red the base chakra, orange the sacral chakra and so on and so forth. So we have already had three subheadings and three or four sub points in those. The next paragraph, the fourth one, talks about the working or the effects of the color. And it says color is absorbed by the eyes, skin, skull. Our magnetic energy field or aura and the energy of color affects us on all levels. That is to say physical, spiritual and emotional. So underline physical, spiritual and emotional. Every cell in the body needs light energy. Thus color energy has widespread effects on the whole body. Underline this point also. It has widespread effects on the entire body. There are many different ways of giving color including solarized water, light boxes, lamps with color filters, color cells and hands on healing using color. So this is the fourth paragraph which talks about the working or the effects of color. And now I'll move on to the fifth paragraph which says color therapy can be shown to help on a physical level. So underline this point, it helps on a physical level which is perhaps easier to quantify. However, there are deeper issues around the colors on the psychological and spiritual levels. So there are different effects of colors on various levels. So you can say the subheading could be effects of colors and then number one sub point could be on the emotional, physical and spiritual level. Then second point could be every body cell needs it. Then third point could be there are different ways of giving color. So our well-being is not of course purely a physical issue. This is the fifth paragraph. The sixth paragraph says fortunately we have not yet come across the sixth paragraph so we will wait for some time. I will move on to the sixth paragraph wherein it talks about the holistic and the non-invasive non therapy which is the color therapy. This could be your first sub point under the subheading importance of color therapy. So it, could, it is the sub point could be holistic and non-invasive therapy. And really color should be a part of our everyday life. This could be another sub point a part of our everyday life. Not just something we experience for an hour or two with a therapist. Color is all around us everywhere. Underline this point also. It is all around us. This wonderful planet does not contain all the beautiful colors of the rainbow for no reason. Nothing on this earth is here just by chance. Everything in nature is here for a purpose and color is no exception. All we need to do is to heighten our awareness of the energy of color, absorb it and see it how it can transform our lives. So we can say the last sub point under the subheading importance, we need to heighten our awareness and see how the colors transform our lives. So this is note making. Now I have certain samples for you. These are the samples of your class only. The students of your class had done it. And they are almost perfect samples for this particular example, color therapy. You can just have a look. So subheading, headings and subheadings given, abbreviations and symbols used, complementary therapy, you can abbreviate the word therapy, evidence, dating back thousands of years back color light of varying wavelength each color has its own particular wavelength and energy first point done second subheading colors and energy colors contribute energy 
then b point energy motivational and encouraging seven colors the word colors abbreviated associated with energy d sub point color therapy rebalance stimulate these energies appropriate for the body so you can have a look at all these points and sub points which have been done very precisely no articles or conjunctions or prepositions used only phrases are used abbreviations key to abbreviations given working and effects of colors they are absorbed by eyes skin skull energy which affects all on all levels widespread effect on the whole body help on various levels physical level then importance and then last part is summarizing for summarizing as i have already told you you need to go through just your notes you need not read the entire paragraph or the passage again just go through the notes that you have made the important points are given there and just write the summary in not more than 80 words this is one sample that i've taken from one of the answer sheets of one of the students of your class only you can have a look at the summary that the child has made all the important points that she had used in the notes she had developed them for writing a summary now we have another sample another sample for you in this particular sample the child had given the title color therapy and then she had used the first subheading history of color therapy and she had again made the sub points under the subheading 1.1 1.2 1.3 the evidence dating back thousands of years ancient cultures of egypt china and india a light of varying wavelengths proper abbreviations are used wherever required the second is energy which may be motivational and encouraging each color associated with energy resonates with the energy of each of the main chakras color therapy rebalances or stimulates these energy levels third sub point effects of colors it has effects on all the levels emotional physical and spiritual every body cell needs it and there are different ways of giving colors just notice how the child has abbreviated all the words that are required to be abbreviated and she had given pointers 1 2 and 3 so that when the evaluator checks he or she comes to know which all are the words that she had abbreviated it helps our well being and many practitioners treat patients with color therapy the last point that she had written subheading is it is a holistic therapy which is not something we experience for an hour or two it can transform our lives and later on she had given the abbreviations that she had used we can use up to 6 to 10 abbreviations for a passage like this and we need to give the key to the abbreviations also last point is the summary which says color therapy is a complementary therapy for which there is evidence dating back thousands of years the energy relating to each color of the spectrum resonates with the energy of each of the seven main chakras energy centers of the body now if you look at this everything is given in the notes she has just developed the points that she had used in the notes and she had made the summary and summary you need to keep the word limit in mind because this is an important question which is a part of your reading section it is going to come in your plus 2 board exams also so please be careful and make the notes precisely and clearly there should be coherence they should not the the notes should not stand in isolation they should be related the 
points should be related to each other. Whatever points you are using in different subheadings, they should have a relation with the subheading. So she concludes it by saying, all we need to do is to heighten our awareness of the energy of color, absorb it and see how it can transform our lives. Now these were the two samples. Now I have another sample for you for the same passage, which is there in one of the sample papers. If you look at this, it's almost the same way the students of a class had, most of the students of a class had done, but some of the students had not done this particular question properly. They had written complete sentences, they had not abbreviated the words, they had even written, some of them had even written paragraphs. So you need to keep in mind that the notes have to be very short and precise. This is the sample that we have of the notes of the same passage in one of the sample papers. It says the very first subheading is history and the pointers are complementary therapy, thousands year old, practiced in Egypt, China, India. And second point is colors and energy. Look how they have abbreviated the words color and energy. Each color has its own wavelength and energy. This is how it has to be done. And then we have the summary of the same, the same manner in which many of the students of a class had done. Summary is to be completed in 80 words. So this is all about color therapy and note making. Hope you have followed how to make notes and how to write the summary of the passage of which the notes you have made. Now in your WhatsApp group, I'll put one or two practice exercises which you need to do as an assignment for the same. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.